YouTube, thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and it's Sunday, so it's time for another vlog. How exciting. Um, I think it's probably going to be a quick one today. Uh, to be honest, I've done no preparation and so I'm just going to ramble on like normal and uh, just see what we can get covered. But the weather is absolutely glorious outside. It's the closest thing we've had to a proper summer's day yet this year. Um, so in all honesty, my main focus of the day is not to spend it in this tiny little office. It's to get outside and uh, and get a little bit of the uh, get a little bit of sunshine. That would be nice. So let's have a little look, shall we? Um, what shall we start off with? What have I been? What have I been watching? Oh, thank you very much to the replies that I'm still getting from people that have written to their MPs and lords and so on. It appears that uh, once you're sort of pressing back, you get kind of a lot of people have had a stock response and a stock answer. And so they've kind of gone back with actual proof of or sort of links to proof of, uh, uh, you know, of our side, if you like. Um, and it kind of is starting on a couple of occasions to change a few people's minds, which is good, or at least appearing to. So, well done. Never give up. And if you... Uh, no retreat, no surrender. If you're an old man, you'll remember that film. <laughs> um, if you uh, if you haven't done it yet, go on to writetothem.com. Or uh, I think you go on to write to vape. I use write to them purely because it's just a, a forum that or a, a way that I've used in the past to get hold of various lords and MPs and uh, MEPs and all that sort of good shit. So you can go to those, write these guys a uh, a letter to say, ask their opinion on vaping, let them know what uh, what uh, your thoughts on it are, how vaping has helped you. Um, flavours that you use, all that sort of stuff. The fact you'll buy 30 mil bottles because you don't want to go to the vape shop every five minutes and cause loads of waste with a load of empty bottles floating everywhere. Just any, anything really that describes your vaping journey. Um, and ask for their support in any upcoming bills. So, you know, that's the best we can do at the moment, but education is key. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about advocacy any more than that. Just teach people shit. Um, cheers to you. So, let's have a little look and see how the week has gone so far, shall we? It's been a busy week this week. Um, not so much on the reviews. Unfortunately, it was uh, I wanted to get a whole bunch done like I did last week, but uh, uh, that didn't happen, unfortunately. Um, so, what we did do is we did the SXQ class, which uh, I'm still rocking and I'm still enjoying. I really am. I mean, it was inevitable that people were going to say, oh, it's jolly expensive when you can get a Wismic or whatever else. But I addressed that in the, uh, in the, in the review. It's something that uh, if you're an SX fanboy or fangirl, um, if you like the way the Yee chip uh, works, then this is a great addition to your to your kind of scope of, of mods that you have. It really does. I really like the way a he board delivers the power. Um, and once you can get in and fanny about with it, you've got the all the adaptiveness. Is that a word? Adaptivity? Is that a word? You can make it do stuff that you um, that uh, that you want it to do. So you can really customize that vape experience, much the same as you can do with the DNA board. But there, there is a slight difference with how they um, kind of give you the power, if you like. And I've always been a fan of the Yeehee boards, and uh, I think I always will be. It just, I just like them. I do like them. It's a smooth power delivery. It's no no. Uh, no better or worse than a than a than a, an evolve board, I don't think. But um, it just is going to depend on how you like to vape and the sort of thing that you like, really. So uh, it's a personal preference thing. Uh, is it worth the money? Yes, it is. I mean, I think I think it is really really well made. As I said in the review, when you take it out of the box, it's kind of, it does feel super light, and you think oh. But once you get some batteries in there, it has a good sort of weight to it, and it feels nice and uh, nice and funky. Uh, the comments, I think I've had some comments saying that they've had theirs and the the doors have no play in them and all that sort of good stuff, which is which is very cool. So I'm very very happy that uh, that that is part of my life now, and that's not going anywhere for a fair while, guaranteed. Now then. Um, We'll come to what I've had this week on top of that. So yeah, so that was the uh, Q class. I hope that it helped you kind of follow how to update logos and stuff. If you do want to do that, it kind of gave you, it was a, it was a brief overview where I couldn't do a video on the actual 
how you do it kind of thing, you know, because I couldn't do my screen grab. And uh, I still absolutely refuse to put up partition my drive or do anything which makes me have to add Windows to my Mac. So uh, I just had to adapt it. So I hope it was useful for some of you at the very least. So what else have we got? We've got the Halcyon. Oh, finally, I can show it off and and uh, say about buying one. I haven't, I haven't put this one back in its box yet, but uh, I've just got to clean out the uh, the juice bottle from there. Um, and then that'll be going back in the box, ready for the uh, ready for the raffle, which is going it's going really well. My raffle box is going nicely now. Um, so I think that's going to be a really good one. I'm really hoping to raise some decent cash for that. Now, uh, I still I said at the time I still love it. Now, a couple of people have said, well, it's only 900 milliamp hour battery, which, yes, it is. However, it's, you know, plenty of people will use a single 18650 and it's a little bit stronger than that. So um, I can have a really enjoyable vape for quite a period of time uh, on uh, on 66.6 watts. In fact, whilst this hasn't been my only unit I've been using, I haven't charged it since I did the review, and I have been using this, and I'm I, I'm on halfway, something like that. Um, and I just I really do like it. I really do. I filled up my juice bottle twice since I've charged this. There you go. That kind of gives you an idea, doesn't it? Um, Uh, then we looked at the Trinity glass tanks. I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I mean, I have got plenty of mods and stuff that I need to catch up on. Um, but I wanted to do something just a little bit different with sort of accessories that I enjoy using. Because I mean, a lot of people don't care about drip tips or don't care about glass caps or whatever else. And that's absolutely fine. I, on the other hand, do. So <laughs> it's my channel, so there you go. Um, but a lot of people, I get I get emails asking what my favourite setups are and all that sort of stuff. And it is important, you know. I mean, I've still got this, uh, what was this one called? The Copa, I think. Um I've still got this strip tip rocket on the Cryos, and I still think it's it's absolutely great. I do love them a lot, um, and they, they make me very very happy. I'm rocking the uh, I'm rocking the 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 wide bore um, tip on top of the Dot Mod Petrie, um, on top of the Onyx, which is this week for sure coming up as a review, and I just I'm really liking it. I definitely need a comp cap. This thing, one hole aside, it's not me really, is it? But yeah, I really like them. I do like them. I think I think this is the glass caps. I mean, the glass cap on the velocity. I said, I've had it's been on this on the on my velocity now for ages. And you know, aside from the fact that you can see when you when you're kind of going uh, when you're going dry and all that sort of good stuff, you can. It's, I've, I just like it. Even if it wasn't glass, even if it was a solid with that airflow, with that um, with that size bore at the top and the way it feels uh, in your smackers, then, uh, then yeah, I think I would probably have one of them anyway, to be honest. That airflow for me is just spot on. Oodles of flavour. People say that drip tips help change flavour and all that. I don't really get that, to be honest with you, because it's just a way of funneling stuff in. It's either wide or thin or whatever else. But um, but no, I mean, I like them. I like them a lot. And I think, I think what they do help with is because it's a lot smoother, there's no kind of... Uh, joins if you like when it comes to the the top cap going on and all that so it is just a smooth delivery system into your mouth hole um yes oh bugger i knew what i really i thought i was going to do oh, moonshot 24 do you want me to review the moonshot 24 um it's the 22 but bigger easier to juice because it doesn't hold down uh, juice down the sides and uh still the same otherwise but bigger do you want me to review that? Let me know. Let me know if you want a review on the Moonshot 24. It's, excuse me, I do like it. I can definitely see it's a, ben, a better product than the 22. <laughs> oh, in, in as much as it does hold a little bit more, more juice. It doesn't have that kind of, if you had a 22, the juice occasionally you'd get sort of air hole, air, air bubbles in the sides in between the, 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 base of the chimney and the uh, and the and the glass whereas obviously the 24's got more space so you don't really have that kind of issue um however like i say if you want me to do a review on that let me know in the comments and i will get one of those out this week as well uh but that's it on the reviews unfortunately i only managed to get three hardware ones out uh, during this week so i will 
we'll try harder. Luckily, there's been some positive movements in my uh, in my personal situation, so hopefully, I'll have uh, a little bit less stress, so I can uh, I can concentrate on more than one thing now happily. So. Um, what else? I have been vaping on this week. Still, the Tesla, uh, Tesla, Tesla Stealth. Still, Tesla Stealth. Uh, I have been using the stock tank that comes with it, which was this one, I think. Was it this one? Yes, it was this one, which I was really surprised at. I thought it was actually quite good, considering I'm not really a, a, a tank person, especially one with pre-built coils. But um, I didn't. They didn't send me a sort of a, a box of coils, so uh, I wanted to keep what's left of that one going. So I didn't. Uh, I didn't wreck it for the review. Uh, and instead, I put the cryos in because you can only put 22 mil RDA. Uh, sorry, not RDAs. Atomizers in here or tanks in here, and um, the cryos is just fit in there lovely and i've got a 0.2 build in here the battery's going unfortunately but uh, i've got a 0.2 build in here and the airflow is kind of half open and it's rocking it really is um i just i really like this mod it it does pretty instant power delivery which i, I really like i mean if i press the button it's just there straight away which I, I really like um but yeah so the review will be on this one this week uh, once again with anything especially of this kind of tactile kind of feel to it um i try and give it a good old go and throw it in my pocket a lot and all that sort of stuff to see how much wears out there is a slight kind of chip to the paintwork on the top there but otherwise this has been rocking and rolling i've really been enjoying it uh, so if you do see one and you're waiting for the review, it gets my thumbs up on this little bad boy. It's got a little 2,200 milliamp hour battery in there, which is a monster, really, considering. Um, but yeah, I've been really, really happy with that. And it's a nice little weight to it as well. Um, the other things I've been vaping on, the uh, the Tesla Nano. Um, that I've just been, I've been loving. And uh, tell you, you know I don't, I don't like reviewing tanks. Well... Along with the Tesla tank, this tank has just blown me away, really, considering what it is. Now, I'm not saying it's direct comparison to RTAs, but this little 2mm iSub V from Inakin has been the tits. It's been really fucking good. I really do enjoy it. Um, the airflow is pretty reasonable on it for a good restricted lung hit. The uh, the flavour on it, obviously, you're pretty close to the coil, so that's been pretty sweet. Um, and it's just been rocking, and I think that setup looks brilliant as well. Um, that's been rocking at 42.5 watts with a 0.5 coil in there. Um, don't know why I'm not doing 44.4, but there you go. Um, but yeah, I really like it. Quality. That, just, I mean, for the money that you're going to be spending on a setup like that. The mod is is has got a nice weight to it. And you know I like I like kind of heavier mods. Uh, the screen, I think, does good. It does. It does good. <laughs> the screen does well. I can see the screen in sunlight and all that sort of stuff. You can tell that it's nice and bright. Uh, the, it's just a really nice compact mod. So that uh, is going to be coming up as well. So what else? I mean, obviously, I've been vaping on uh, on these. Now, this is one of the things that came in to me this week as well from, uh, from Vape Time UK. And this is the Anzu from... From... From UD. UD. Um, now, let me just have a little look at Vape Time, how much they're doing these for. Because this is not a bad little um, dripper, to be honest with you. Hang on, Anzu. Anzu, $24.95. $24.95 for that little puppy. And that's not too fucking shabby, to be honest. Um, I've been quite impressed with it. I mean, it's not it's not a looker. It really isn't. Um, let me I've I've changed my up close focus. Let me show you what we're show you what I'm on about when I say about it not being a looker. Much like me. <laughs> Right, see, we've got this kind of going on here. So you've got bottom airflow or or kind of, it's not really a top airflow as such because it's, when you take this, oh, shit me. When you take this top cap off, it does have a, it does kind of have a top thing, but it, it forces the air to go downwards to some degree to hit the coils. So yeah, it's a funny old airflow on there, but um, yeah, it's it's not been too shabby. It's It's one of those things where you take the top off 
and the o-rings leak again but um let me just log into that for something else i'm going to talk about in a second hang on i've lost something i've lost something i know i know i don't lose things ordinarily <laughs> oh an idiot <laughs> Right, anyway, I won't mention that, and I'll come back to that in a little while. <laughs> oh, hello, we're still we're still out of focus. <clears throat> no, it's not that one. That's that's too bright. No, stop pressing the same button, Dave. <laughs> oh, take note, tell you it's the heat. <laughs> this is that time just before, remember last year, if you've been watching a while, I just did a bunch of reviews where I was a hot, sweaty mess, which sounds gorgeous, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> there is something, out oh, there it is, found it. Um, so, yeah, so all in all, uh, this little this little dripper, I mean, showing you the deck on there, it does have, oh, look, see, I got all kind of, I got all put to one side. Now, the, the thing, and this is just sort of an, an early warning on this one, the thing with this is you can see those deck air holes are kind of vertical as opposed to horizontal, if you like. They go in towards the centre of the, of the deck rather than going width ways which allows you plenty of space for your wick to go down which is good but it doesn't allow you a great deal of space down the middle there so if you're someone that that um drips by in down the uh down the down the middle of your your drip tip uh you can quite easily get juice go down into the the air holes does that make sense? But if you paint the coils and do all that and squirt it onto the uh I'll squirt it onto the 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 cotton itself then you're fine and dandy but yeah It puts out. It does put out. I found that on some of the airflow settings, or some. Oh shit me! I've taken the top off. On some of the, <laughs> it's one of them days, I tell you. Um, on some of the uh, airflows, that it can occasionally be a little bit whistly. I've just got that wide open on the bottom now, which is nice. But if I add the, uh, oh look, pay attention to what you're doing, pet it. Oh. Oh, I'm taking all bits off and juicy and juicy. Right, everything open now. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that top air really gives you much benefit or not. But uh, but I'm going to put some more builds in here, do some Claptons and all that sort of good stuff and uh, and see what we feel. But the, uh, the it's a velocity style deck, so we kind of know what we're getting with that, with that sort of uh, behavior. So... I only got that on Monday, so we've got a, another week or so of really getting stuck into that. Um, now, what else did I get? I think I told you, but I didn't have it. Uh, I didn't have it on an RDA at the time. But I was sent the uh, Mutation X V5. Now I've been having a little blast with this, and I've got to say I'm pretty impressed by it. I really am. Now I remember having the original Mutation X, and, and it was the tits back in the day. It was one of the one of the early really kind of big airflow uh, airflow jobs. Um, now then, Shaz sent me this. Now where? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is from Vapor, V A Y P E R dot co dot UK. Um, this is running on the Super, which is also coming up this week. Um, and one of the things that I really like about this is just a really smooth uh, air delivery. Now, I think I showed you on the last vlog uh, that it's kind of like a half Delrin and half stainless base to it, which is a pretty interesting idea. Um, it also has a top-down airflow as well, although generally I've been rocking it with a uh, with a with just the side-on airflow, and the 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 delivery on it is really smooth. It has a monstrously deep juice well, like stupid deep juice well. Um, it's uh, the sixty-six going to be enough for this? No, it's not. Let me take that up. 85 just that that um just the air going into it and i don't know i don't know why i should probably pay attention to this um but the airflow just seems really fucking really smooth like really smooth really smooth um let's have a go at that one Uh, 
which is really, really nice. So if you don't mind a, an RDA that's a bit tall, um, this seems to work out really, really nicely. So yeah, that's that's definitely in the in the queue. But check out uh, vapor.co.uk. I can't remember how much it is, and I think their their uh, website takes you to their Facebook page still while they while they're doing the uh, proper website. Yes, it does. Um, yes. Oh, hang on. We've got it here. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. Hold you on a second. No, they haven't got the price on there. Ah, it could be twenty three ninety nine for stainless steel and twenty four ninety nine for black, according to their uh, Facebook page. So that twenty for twenty four quid for that. That's that's not fucking shabby, you know. It's not too shabby. Um, flavor, I think, is okay, but I've got to do a few more builds in there. I really do. The one thing, or one of the other things that I really like about this, and I'm a little bit loath to show you my build because it's quite vile. Yeah, I've been uh, vaping a lot of kind of rather heavy custards. Um, but ah, oh, fuck it, I'll show you. We've all had them. We've all had them. Um, look at that. Look at the state of that. Um, but you'll see no posts. No posts. Now, it's not just a normal um, no post dripper. So you go put your put your, your coils directly into the deck. You actually have the option. You've got a couple of things you can screw in to give you uh, velocity style posts, which I thought was really nice. So you've, you've got a couple of different options of how you build it as well. Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm, I'm quite impressed with that. And for, for 24 quid, that's, uh, that's not bad. I can't remember what spares you get with it, but... Uh, I seem to remember that indulgence things you get quite a few spares. Yeah, you get the screwdriver, Allen key. You've got the velocity posts that come installed in it, so you have to take those out, and a whole bunch of grub screws and screws and all that sort of stuff. And you get the adapter for a normal five ten as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, all in all, ladies and gentlemen, that's not bad. So, bit of a spoiler, but there you go. Um, now, now, cheers. Oh, a while ago I was trying not to say um in things, and that's gone royally out the window, isn't it? Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Uh, something that's been going quite well is if you saw my Trinity glass tanks on my uh, what's it called tugboat V3, um, I put a single coil in between the middle of the posts. Uh, now that's a, a particularly ropey dual core Clapton in there, um, but what I've done is I have put the trick oh god I've got juice everywhere again <laughs> you know sometimes you think I just should have done something else instead <laughs> um what I've done is I've got the airflow on here so it uh it goes directly into sort of the, the sort of bottom edge of the uh, of the coil, if that makes sense, not bottom edge of the coil, but around the post. Um, so the airflow is going either side of that, and that's working out really, really nicely. I don't know whether, it, I mean, you know, logically, should it be? I don't know, but uh, but it is. And uh, yeah, so if you uh, if you've got one of these bad boys and want to go single coil, that's certainly an option for you. If you can find a cap, either a Trinity or something with the uh, with the with the airflow either side there. Pounds for days. Really, really enjoying it. So, yes. Now then, what else? What else? Last Sunday, my friend Michael, who builds some amazing coils, like ridiculous coils, um, has um, given me a Sub-Zero 24. Now, that this is a beast. This really is a beast. Once again, covered in juice, which is nice. Um... <laughs> And now, can you? Are you going to be able to see his coil? Not very well. I've got a. He put a, a mega alien monster thing in here, which is uh, which is. It's only a single coil, and it's going really well. Let me uh, let me stick it on something. Let me stick it on something. I'll pop it on the old uh, triad. Make sure there's plenty of juice in there. Oh, it looks nice on the triad. Oh, look at that look. How sexy does that little setup look, though? Oh, you monkey! 
Oh, you little monkey. Now, uh, inside, if you haven't seen the Sub-Zero, go and check out, uh, go and check out, I think Ruby and, uh, and Nick did the Sub-Zero 22. I don't know if they've done the 24. But there's plenty of build space in there, but it's got a bit of a strange idea where you kind of, the deck goes through from the top rather than being pulled out from the bottom. Um, so that does a, a funky little thing. Um, and I think it, it may have, it looks as though on that, you can see I've only got one kind of airflow hole covered with the coil there. Um, it looks as though because they're threaded, um, you, you may have a screw or something that goes into in the, uh, in the coil that you're not using. So I'm, I'm going to have to see if I can get hold of, uh, hold of one of those bad boys. Oh, look at that monkey. But as a dripper, this is a bit badass. I've got to say. Um, let me get my airflow half open is where I've been rocking it. Look at that. Look at that though. And that's off a 0.22 single coil alien wire build, which is, is fucking lovely. Really enjoying it really enjoying it so that's mainly what i've been vaping on this week i think have i been vaping on anything else no i think that just about covers it we're vaping here aren't we oh it makes my eyes pop oh look at that um now it's been a bit of a quiet old week on the old uh vape mail mainly because dhl bless them uh i well, you know you get kind of text notifications if dhl are delivering if you've signed up to that well i have and i was supposed to get some stuff in on friday ready for today's vlog however it didn't turn up friday so i rang them on saturday when it didn't turn up again they went oh yeah yeah that's uh, you're not going to get that until monday so <laughs> so next week could be quite a good one however what i did get is the troll the new troll very excited by this a little bit gutted that Pretty much everyone's got one before me, but never mind. Um, shall, we, shall we have a look at one? Which one shall I open? Shall I open the black one? The silver one? Stainless one? Um, knife. 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 Wherever possible, use a knife that's far too big for the uh, for the job at hand. And But watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. If needed, have parental super, 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 supervision. <laughs> no. If you're young enough not to be able to use a knife, you shouldn't be watching this channel, so go and do your homework. Right, let's have a little look, shall we? Ooh, it's shiny. Look. Now then, one of the things I look I like about this is that um, is that the original troll that I still think the original troll is a pretty fucking awesome dripper. I've I've always liked it, and I think I always will. It's rather special. Um and so I've been waiting for this V2 and I've been looking forward to it. I had one of the early, early numbered um, V1s. Uh, I think it was like a three digit sort of affair, uh, which I really, really liked. But um, uh, unfortunately, I burnt out the, I, I, I did a daft one and the, the insulator went pear shaped. And I tried my hardest to get a, to get another one, but uh, that didn't happen. But um, luckily, a very nice, a very nice uh, vendor gave, sent me a, uh, one that he had for spares um so i could try and get in and trying to replace the 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 510 insulator pfft, impossible absolutely impossible so uh right how does this does this pull off yes it looks like it pulls off Ooh, woof woof right so we've got a velocity style deck going on here and look at the depth in this juice well it is a monster Whee. Look at that. Look at the size holes in the Velocity style posts. And also, look underneath those posts. They've actually cut a wire section underneath those posts. So you've got plenty of beef there for your uh, for your builds. But underneath the posts, they've cut away so you can get loads of wick in there. That's really clever. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, they've sealed up the, uh, the, the 510, though, so you're not going to be able to make it into a squonker, which sucks. But never mind. Um... But that's a, that's pretty fucking awesome. That is, I like that a lot. That is cool. Three juice, or oh, yeah, they're not going to go on without lubrication. Let's have a little look. We've got on the uh, on the airflow. We've got kind of three holes that are on the on the lash, or we've got 
three holes that are horizontal and everything in between. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> hey, it's quite airy. <laughs> oh, fucking moron. <laughs> All right, let's just put, put, let's put a little bit of juice on these O-rings, shall we? <clears throat> Always juice up your O-rings. If you're not someone that juices up your O-rings, juice them up regularly because if you don't, they'll corrode, they'll they'll bend and stretch and then they'll go to fuck and then you won't be able to put your top on and it'll all go wrong. That's much better. Right. So we're on. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's nice. We're all right with that. We're okay with that. Let's try the angled ones exactly the same just angled so yes that i think that's going to be nice but one of the things i said i was going to start start talking about this earlier on what i like about this on the v1 a load of people whinged about the troll face and went no i don't like that i'd buy one if you didn't have that troll face on and they've stuck with it in fact they've got a big fuck you and actually engraved it rather than just laser etched it they've engraved it on which is kind of cool so uh yeah i like that and it's not as in your face as the laser etched version either so yeah i'm happy with that that ladies and gentlemen is pretty sweet i'm looking forward to getting stuck into that one that'll be good so that's it that is it when it comes to new shit this week that is it a uh, little bit of a spoiler on this one this little thing i showed you um this is uh, is uh, the mod has lots of very cool options the tank is shit can't say fair in that can i The tank could have been really good for the mouth to lungs because it's really tight. Um, but uh, but yeah, how it does what it does is is none too clever. So, but the mod, I'm looking forward to showing you kind of what that does. I think it's going to be a cheapie again. So if it is, as long as it is it's sort of as cheap and cheerful, then uh, then yeah, it's got plenty of options and it's dinky. So uh, there you go. Right. Is there out else? Is there out else? No. No, I don't think there is. Uh, juice wise, I have been hitting obviously my normals: the grumpy custard, the uh, the biker bounty from Strawberry Fields, which uh, I've uh, I've just got got to the end of now, which is not bad. A couple hundred mil in that in a couple of weeks. That's all right. Isn't it? Um, <laughs> yeah, Grumpy's just about done. That's 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 all gone. Uh, I've tried a few others. The black stuff. This this gear here. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned that before, but it's none too shabby, you know. It, this is the Origin and the Visions. Now I can't remember which is which. I think the Origin is kind of a a custody sort of thing going on, and the Visions is a strawberry ish thing. Um, I think that's what they are. And then they're, they're not actually too bad at all. So um, I'm not sure if they're going to be all dayers, but they're, they're not too bad. But uh, but yeah, I think, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. Um, Coil Master and I do wire. Did you know that? Did I tell you that? Are you aware of that anyway? Uh, Coil Master are still on the, on the road to trying to be a one-stop shop for vapors, for accessories. Um, so a lot of the stuff that oh, they've got a lot of stuff that's just rebranded that's not new we can't get away from that however it's nice to be able to go to one place and be able to get all of your bits and bobs I imagine so um, yeah so that's that's pretty sweet uh, and the wire so far the stainless wire has not been too bad at all it's it's uh, it's held up nicely um, the hair's still all fluffy Mr. Todd gave me grief about wearing a baseball cap in the last one, so uh, I thought I'd better just let you show my dad hair. Look at that. How is it? Fucking <laughs> dad hair. <laughs> it gets to a point, and if you're if you're a, a little bit generously proportioned, <laughs> cuddly, then if you've got if you once your hair if it's in styled or if it's if it's sort of short and curled, then you look kind of funky. Once it starts getting to this sort of level, it just it goes no. It's not a cool look at all. But then again, neither is a baseball cap. So, you know, <laughs> for me, I mean, for me. Uh, I still haven't uh, I still haven't given a go to the Elf Tank from Sigilli yet. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I really don't. Purely because it ha it uses 
I've got to see if it, it'll take other coils because if it just takes Sigeli coils, um, I haven't seen any available in uh, in vape shops. And I think I had a bit of a rant about this before. It doesn't look to me like it's a sort of coil that you could use on anything else because it has the 510 pin, the, the positive pin directly in, in, the, uh, in the bottom end of it. Shall I show you that? So it has, it's kind of an all-in-one thing, which I don't think is going to be like anything else on the market or nothing else that I can instantly think of using. Um, those wick holes, they, they're, not, they're not the best. They could be doing with being a wee bit bigger as well. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one, guys, because it's, you know, I want, it, I want to review stuff that you guys can all get hold of pretty easily. And um, I'll probably have a blast on the tank and we'll see if it's really kind of if it really floats my boat um, enough to be able to say, yes, you should get your local vape shop to go out and, and get this and all the coils. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a confusion one. A bit rubbish packaging as well. That, I thought that was just a sort of an ill-placed um, kind of card, but no, no, it isn't. Um, what else, what else? Sigeli have got a new uh, a new mod out now. It's a red and black looking thing. Fuck, it's horrible. It really does look horrible. Um, but also the Fukai, Fukai, the Fu Fuchai, Fukai, Fuchai. There is a cheaper version to the uh, the Sigeli two one three. Looks as though it's got everything the same on it. It's just made from cheaper material uh, on the casing and the board works differently for temp uh, enthusiasts. Uh, I still think it's a bit rotten that uh, they, they released something and then kind of bought, let a load of people buy it and then said, well, do you know what? Let's uh, let's just release a cheaper product that does the same thing, but allegedly better. I think that's a bit rude. But um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the Cricket Killer kit. Um, I don't think, I don't know if Rick at Modmaker has got many of these left. And I, I really do want to do a quick video about this because not a Cricket Killer kit at all. Uh, button upgrade um, kit, I think they've called it from Fact Daddy Vapes. And the button still, you know, the button's not perfect. And I think we're all aware of that. Um, but it does work pretty well once you get to uh, once you get to grips with it. The main thing that I think this is absolutely brilliant for is the fact that you get the floating 510 uh, on the positive connection. So you can use your noisy cricket with a whole bunch of different atomizers, which I think is really, really handy. Um, so, you know, if you've got an RTA and you want to use your noisy cricket and you put a nice kind of one ohm build on it or something like that, uh, then you can use it safely with this. Uh, without having to worry about your protruding pin so I think I do think that's great but hop on over to modmaker.co.uk to see if they've got any of those because on top of that you also get obviously you get the the the, the button and the five float and 510 but you do also get the oh, hey go on son you also do get the ah oh, fucking dropping things everywhere um the uh, the tube as well so you get a tube mod out of it at the at the same time which sweet <laughs> <laughs> you got to be happy with that, haven't you? For like fifteen quid, fucking go on then. Um, and uh, and I've been I've been using this in tube mod style with the uh, with obviously the right sort of top and bottom to it, and I've been rocking that on a point two build, and it's not I haven't had any kind of issues with that at all. So uh, obviously, if you do do point two, do 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 do, if you do do a point two build, then um, make sure that you're using a quality battery, something like I use Samsung twenty five Rs, and make sure they're in good repair, and uh, and never underestimate the benefit of uh, rewrapping your batteries if they're starting to look a little bit ropey. So, so, is there, how long is this one? 38 minutes. Oh, this could be a short vlog. It could be a short vlog. Oh, you bastard. Go on. Go on. You and Sam. You and Sam have it. <laughs> um, quickly, Dean. Quickly. Is there anything else? That was a bit Mickey Mouse, wasn't it? Um, ah. Now then, the cool fires. I have got the cool fire 18650. Now the review is going to be coming up for that as well. One of the things that uh, that's been going on is when I've not been using it, I've been letting the wife use it. Now she vapes at around forty watts um, all day on a either on the Conqueror tank or on a on a Troll RDA, uh, mainly on the on the Conqueror to be honest with you, with a 0.4 build in it, which isn't excessive, and she will get through three eighteen six fifties a day. 
and that's not kind of particularly hardcore vaping so uh, that's that's going to need some some more uh, checking out so uh, as with everything guys I want to make sure that I am comfortable with what I tell you in as much as whether it's kind of a little bit angry now generally I don't really comment that much on batteries because batteries tend to be kind of as hard they'll work as hard for you as the the type of battery that you put in and the build you put in it and all and how much you vape obviously so for me to say it's a really good battery life is kind of inconsequential when it if I vape in a different way to you so I mean this 900 milliamp hour on here works for me you know I'm not going to be doing 100 watts through it all day obviously but uh, you wouldn't do that with a single 18650. However, what I found interesting with the Coolfire 18650 was that at 40 watts, it's still uh, it's still pretty draining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the uh, the batteries that we're using in it, and we're gonna we're gonna kind of have a little little play about and see uh, see if it kind of works better with some batteries than others when it, when it comes to longevity and all that sort of gear. So we'll see how we get on there, guys. <sighs> now, is there anything else? No, I don't think there is. Um, the Mason RDAs that I uh, that I bought for review, I'm selling at, uh, at super cheap and lovely prices on my Facebook page, on my vaping biker page. Oh, that's the thing. I have had so many requests for people that uh, that watch the channel on my private Facebook pro uh, profile, and I really want to thank you very, very much for uh, for wanting to show an interest and you know connect up in that kind of way, and that's awesome. But but. To be honest, you, you 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 don't need to see what I've had for tea, pictures of my dog because I take lots of pictures of my dog. Um, you you do you need to see that? Not not really. No. So um, so if you want to uh, trip along to the vaping biker Facebook page, by all means come along there. I'm, I'm trying to use that a little bit more often now and get that up and up and running, so I have more kind of interaction with people. So you know, crack on over to that one. Uh, purely because my personal one is, you know, I'm really, really dull, really dull. And I'll share just random memes and all that sort of stuff, which will be of no interest to you whatsoever. So, uh, yeah. And also, if you send me a, a Facebook uh, game, I will hunt you down and, and, uh, and I'll damage you. <laughs> I can't lie. <laughs> I hate it. Why do people play games on Facebook anymore? Why? Why is that a thing? Um. <clears throat> anyway, that's that. Uh, oh, Spotify! I tell you, well late to the game. Found out about Spotify. A friend of mine showed me how to use it properly because I've not been using it properly. I've got no idea where my phone is. Um, that's probably why we haven't heard it binging off while I've been doing this vlog. Um, but uh, but yeah, I uh, I've been been using Spotify. They had a thing recently where ninety nine p gets you gets you a three month kind of mega version of it. So I've been doing that and just oh. Off, <laughs> been downloading Maiden and and uh, um, oh God, listening to some of the old Maiden songs takes me back. Iron Maiden rocked. And uh, what else has been going on? What else? There's been um, a little bit of Megadeth, a little bit of the old school Metallica. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why? A bit of Rammstein just for just for shits and giggles, but uh, but then a little bit of jazz as well. So you know, horses for courses. <laughs> Right, I am boring the pants off you now. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it. That's a, a nice, quick and easy one. There's been a few things I've shown you, a few cool bits of bobs. Coming up this week is definitely going to be the Supra and the Onyx from Jaywell. Um, we're definitely going to have the Tesla as well. You never know, I may even bang out the Tesla if I uh, if I get bored outside. In oh, should I do a review outside in the sun? Should I do that? Our garden needs tidying though. I'll see. I might, I might even do a review of the outside in the sun later on today. We'll see. But that's it for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been a Sunday vlog. And, uh, you know, if it is sunny with you, go out and have it large. Oh, and if it's not sunny with you, go out and have it large, but in a bit more of a damper way. <laughs> oh, you suppose you could have it damp and large. <laughs> Cheeky. See you later on the next one. Bye. It's come to an end I feel an obligation to start again